Thank you and good afternoon. And I want to thank the NAACP for hosting this uh, event this uh, afternoon as well. <clears throat> it's always a great pleasure, great honor when you're able to come in to Brockton High School and into a, a room with a crowd such as this, um, similar to almost what Councilor Cruz said. You know, we're here and we're seeing different types of people than even when I was younger myself, um, when my, my parents and even my grandparents were all a part of the city. And I've been a lifelong resident here in the city of Brockton. Matter of fact, it'll be 65 years this coming Tuesday. It'll be my birthday. So um, in celebration of that, I'm not going anywhere. I know there's some people that would like to see me go places, but I'm not. Um, in any case, I'm just going to say, and in, in, in brief, and I know I'll get, I'll get razzed by my colleagues, but my political career started right here in 1979 as a member of the Brockton School Committee. And I was always proud to be a member of the Brockton School Committee because I work with some outstanding, outstanding administrators, Tom Whalen, Matt George, uh, Tony Luizzi, uh, Dan Kulik, uh, people that knew education and uh, taught us as school committee members. It was the greatest thing that I, I did. It was like going to college. It really was. But I learned it right here. And from that point, um, I had relocated. I was born in Ward 3 um, back in 1954. I left Ward 3, went to Ward 5. Uh, where I represented the school committee, but I came back to Ward 3 in, uh, 20, in 2003 uh, to an open seat, and everybody asked that, you know, why aren't you running for city council of Ward 3, and I felt at that time maybe it was time for me to take a little break, but in any case, people came at me, wanted me to run, I ran, I was elected uh, by a mere 25 votes against a very popular person that had lived in Ward 3, uh, and it was an election that went to a recount, and I've been serving the people of Ward 3 for the last 16 years, and I'm very proud of that. I'm, I'm proud of what, um, not only what I've done, but I'm proud of the fact that the people in Ward 3 have showed me that respect for those 16 years. And in spite of that, I do have to say I've done a lot, I've done a lot in the Ward, and I'm very proud of that as well. But I've also worked with my colleagues to make sure that we're doing what's in the best interest of the city, and that's moving it forward. And now we need to continue to do that. No matter who that next mayor is, no matter how, or how the council makes up or however the school committee makes up, we've got to continue to move the city forward. And I have to say, just as, and I say it, in, in, in light of the fact that we lost a mayor, the first one in 70 years who was holding a public office, but what was his, what was his slogan? It took a carpenter to build the city. And when he stood in front of everybody just several weeks ago before he passed, he said what? He said, I'm running for re-election because you know why? Brockton is under construction, and they are. It is under construction. And you know why? Because as much as some members and all of us had our own opinions of what the mayor was doing, we still worked with him to do what we had to do for the best interest of the people of this city of Brockton. That's why I'm still running for Council Ward 3. That's the job I'm going to do for the next couple of years. I will continue to work. I will endlessly work for it. Being retired, now I'm home. I can do it. And she's waving it. I, I, I just got that extra second because I'm the old guy, but I appreciate it. So just remember me on November the 5th, Tuesday, November the 5th, when I have my uh, election. I'm not on the primary ballot, but thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thanks.